Some of Florida's top political players made it very clear TikTok is not welcome in this state. The governor wants to ban access to the app on any government issued devices and now it's off limits for anyone using Wi-Fi at public universities. So why is money being spent to advertise Florida prepaid college savings plans on TikTok? West News Anika Hope confirmed thousands of dollars went into the ads. The Florida Prepaid College Board was created to help families save for the cost of college. A spokesperson told us advertisements like these were made to help ensure families are aware of that. What's so super about a savings plan? It's a flexible investment account that lets you save for college and K-12 educational expenses on your terms. The spokesperson referred us to these open enrollment ads on Instagram. They say look like the ones used in their pilot campaign on TikTok. We spent $30,516 in advertising on TikTok during this Florida prepaid college plan open enrollment period from February 25th to April 10th, Florida prepaid spokesperson said. But the Florida prepaid college board is made up of seven members designated by the attorney general, the chief financial officer, the chancellor of the state university system of Florida, the chancellor of the division of Florida colleges, and three members appointed by the governor and subject to confirmation by the Florida Senate. Yet Governor Ron DeSantis has called TikTok a nefarious platform, even moving to ban the app on government issued devices and on Wi-Fi at public schools, universities and government offices. We want to protect your right as a Floridian to have private in-person conversations without big tech surveilling you. Last week, the state university system's board of governors asked all public universities to ban TikTok, among other apps, from their Wi-Fi networks. Yes, so I heard about that, uh, you know, there was some bans about TikTok, you know, political stuff, so with China, but let's see how it goes. It's definitely a weird concept um, between, yeah, them using it. Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas' spokesperson sent us this statement. The CFO believes Florida Prepaid should end their relationship with TikTok. Florida Prepaid said plan sales are up 7% compared to last year when they were not using TikTok. Anika Hope, West 2 News.